we are going to do an instructional video on, video on expressions. And the learning goal is to write expressions that record the operations with numbers and with letters standing for numbers. We're going to use variables to represent numbers and write expressions when solving a real world or math problem. Okay, so expression, let's go over the vocabulary vocabulary a little bit, a group of constants or op and operators. So operators are um, addition, subtract, and multiplication, division. The constants are the numbers that say the same. An algebraic expression is an expression that contains at least one variable. And remember, an expression does not have an equal sign. That's an equation. So an expression does not have an equal sign. A constant is a number called a constant because its value never changes. That's what I was talking about up here as a constant. A variable is a symbol that represents an unknown value. Now, when we have addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and variables, and we have word problems, we are going to be looking for hints in the text, context clues. So like if we, if the, you think it might be looking for addition, you might see words such as add, sum of, total, plus, increase, more, raise, together, gain. If you, if they're asking you to do subtraction in the word problem, you're going to see subtract, difference, minus, decrease, lose, loss, less than, take away. Multiplication, multiply, product, times, double, triple, quadruple, groups of. Division, you might see divide, quotient, per, split into, equal, groups of, equal groups of, separate, for each, for every. Variables would be some number, a number, another number, some, a quantity, not given. Okay, so here we see the word more, five more than ten. So we are going to Put the number 10, and 5 more is plus 5, okay? So we have numbers, and we have text, okay? Now, two groups of 4. So we have 2. and four and groups. So we have two groups of four. We have four times two. We have eight and we have 12 and we have less than. So we have 12 minus eight. We have six and two and we see the word quotient. So we know that has to do with division, like less than with subtraction, groups with multiplication, more was addition. Okay, so the quotient of six and two is six divided by two. Now here, algebra expressions, we're gonna go down here. This is where we're going to use a variable. So here, when we said 5 more than a number, we don't have the 10. But we do have 5, and we have more. So we're going to have n plus 5, because we're going to use that as the variable in a number. OK? Some groups of 4. So 4, like above, we know there's group sum is going to be the variable. So that's the n, just like this was the variable. So it's going to be 4 times n. Or remember, you can just do 4n, because when you two, put these two side by side, it's multiplication. So now again, we have 8. We have less than quantity. So that is going to be the n. OK? And just like up here, it's going to be subtraction. It's going to be n minus 8, okay? Then 6 divided by a number. This is the n because it's the variable. We have 6 and we know divided by, so it's going to be 6 divided by 
n, or it's going to be 6 over n. Okay? And the number of wheels of any number in a car is going to be the number of wheels on any number of car. So we know that car is C. So it's going to be, we know how many wheels are on a car, correct? So that's four. So this would be four times how many cars we have. So sometimes you have to infer. And remember, you can just put the, the two side by side or C times four. A cell plan costs $40. Each gigabyte of data used costs an additional $2. So we're going to start off with the cost. The original cost is $40. And each and additional gigabyte is $2. And we don't know what the gigabytes are, so that would be how many we are going to use. So it's going to be 2 times D. So this would be our unknown. So the variable is the D. The unknown is amount of data used. And the unknown here is we don't know how many cars because we know it's four wheels times how many cars. So it would be the number of cars. Okay, I want to pause for a minute and then Let you take a chance, because I know I was talking, to pull up the this, this sheet. Okay. And remember, you can pause if you need to. And then here, what I want you to do is flip over the sheet. And I want you to go ahead and pause. And I want you to try and do these on your own. And then we will check the answers. Thank you. Okay. So now we're going to go. 11 more than, so it's more than, we have our numbers, 21. So 11 more than 21, so we have 21 plus 11. There's five groups of 12. Multiplication, this is addition, so it's five groups of 12, so five times 12. Seven less than 100. Less than is subtraction. So 100 minus 7. The quotient of 9 and 3. So we know we, our numbers are 9 and 3. The quotient is division. 9 divided by 3. Or 9 divided by 3. Or 9 divided by 3. Okay? The next one, we have 11 more than a number. So remember, when we see something we don't know, it's a variable. More than is addition. Okay? So 11 more than that number. So you can do 11 plus n, or I would take 11, n plus 11. Okay, either way. Five groups. We have five of an unknown quantity. Groups of, we know, is multiplication. Or remember, we can use the dot. So it's five groups of an unknown quantity, or if you did, five times n. Okay? An amount less than 100. So we know this. Less than is subtraction. An amount we don't know. So that's a variable. So it's 100 minus n. The quotient of 9 and another number. So quotient, we know is division. And we have 9 and another number, which is a variable because we don't know the number. So it's 9 divided by n. It could be 9 divided by n, or it could be 9 divided by n. Okay? We have $75 earned from a part-time job. And some additional money earned from babysitting. So we have some additional money earned, but we don't know what that number is. So that's the variable. And some additional would be add. 
So we're going to start off with $75 plus the additional money earned from the babysitting. The next one, money raised from selling cupcakes, $5.40 each, shared evenly between four bakers and two decorators. So we don't know how many cupcakes she raised, so that would be a variable. So we have $5.40 per cupcake times how many we sold divided by four bakers and two decorators. Now, if you ended up doing 540 times N and you put six, I'm okay with that. Okay? Hope you did well. Thanks for listening.